Hi, it's Tisha, breaking business news. The UK, the inflation went from 6.9% to 7.1%. 14.4 million UKs are in poverty. So there's around 685,500 rich people in the UK. And you know, with the pandemic, they had, you know, an increase in 2020, just like the United States. What happened? Apparently, the code bid allowed some people to work while others were forced to shut down. The ones who got to work were able to make money. The ones who were shut down lost money. So there was an inequality in terms of wealth. And they were feeling the Matthew 25 effect. The rich shall get richer before for S&P is projected to go 5,000 in 2023. I'm Tisha Powell with three decades at Wall Street. You've got to save, invest, budget, and pursue assets. We've got a lot more breaking business news coming up. One in 10 Americans are not saved in money for retirement. Instead, they are literally putting their kids through college. Parents, I have nine year olds as well and I went to college in America. You need to first think about having your child work at least 30 hours per week I did it. They can do it too. I know others who have done it. That's how you did it. Seven, 30 years ago, you actually go to an um, associate degree, community college. That's cheaper. You work 30 hours. You go to school at night or you go to school within that 30 when you're not working. And then you transfer to a university or a college within that state that's a public college like in florida they have fau fiu you know new york has its own california has its own and that's the way you keep the cost down it doesn't make sense for you to go out of state to take on loans it's ridiculous to have student loans doing undergrad the average person you eight thousand dollars in student loans and a lot of these are undergrad and they could be avoided if the person did an associate degree and then went off to a four-year college in the same state it could also be avoided if the person worked at least 30 hours a week or start a business an online business those average three thousand a month but you could do that while you are in college but the burden of putting your parents to put you through college when they're supposed to be saving for retirement is unfair. And also too, parents allow your kids to live rent free while they're in college. Let them use the money to go ahead and save for a home and also to help pay for their own college. So that's the way you need to do it. And parents focus on your retirement goals. Social Security, the average Social Security is $1,800 per month. That's just one third. Saying you pay off your mortgage, $1,800 a month is not enough. It's now a supplement. That's what Social Security is. When people say Social Security won't be around, they meant it's more like a supplement. It's not that much. So you need to have a 401k and you need to have your own retirement. What if your boss is you know your employee is giving you a retirement account you still should open another one because there's just not enough money due to the inflation for you to save we'll be back folks go ahead and hit that free like and subscribe button we'll be back with robert kennedy's proposal of backing the u.s dollar with bitcoin i'm tisha Paul. see you real soon Folks, hit that free like and free subscribe button for the latest breaking business news. I'm Tisha Powell, your host. We're in New York, USA. So Robert Kennedy Jr., he's running for office. He's running against President Biden on the Democratic side. We're not sure if Mr. Kennedy is going to get a debate because the DNC said they're not keeping any debate. But what's of interest to us is the fact that Mr. Kennedy is saying that he wants to back 
the US dollar with Bitcoin. So that's kind of like fascinating that Mr. Kennedy is paying attention to what's going on, which is the cryptocurrency world. So should Mr. Kennedy back the dollar with the Bitcoin? And what do you think of that? I mean, it's kind of radical, but some of the arguments were really good. The first one is that Bitcoin, well, is scarce. So that's something good. That's a good asset to back the dollar and the dollar should be back with, you know, a strong asset class. The dollar wants us back with gold. So he's saying, why can't we use the dollar, you know? And he's saying the fiat currency where a government could just print money and then go to war, that's against human policy because that creates more inflation. And the mishandling of the money over the years, the dollar has eroded. In fact, we are at, in the United States, 2.9% for the inflation. We're supposed to go under 2%. And statistics and researchers are showing we will not be going under 2% until the late 2024. So Mr. Kennedy has valid information about the dollar being declined. I mean, the inflation is bad in the United States. And yes, something should be done, but something as radical as using Bitcoin to back the dollar. He also said that we'll not be paying taxes on Bitcoin and we won't be paying taxes on cryptocurrency, which is ideal. So how do you feel about Mr. Kennedy with the US dollar getting backed by Bitcoin? It is probably unlikely, it's kind of radical, but he said he would, int would introduce it very slowly, probably 1% first on the treasury, on the T-bill. But it's, it's probably not going to happen. There's a lot of conservative people in the United States and it's just too radical for us to use Bitcoin to back the dollar. But it is a very interesting idea because the US dollar is, you know, it's not as strong as it once was. And we see in the prices of gas, you need $300 per month to fill the tank. It used to be 40, you know. 40 a month. It's, it's just crazy now. It's a lot more today than it was. But you know, young people are getting paid $15 per hour in every boat. Back in my days, you got paid $6 an hour 30 years ago. You know, when I was like 18, you got paid $6 an hour. And that was a lot of money. So Mr. Kennedy is, yes, it's time that we explore other options than consider the almighty dollar. Because what we're seeing is the inflation is bad even in the United States. And even though, you know, we're used to such a prosperous country, we are all feeling this inflation and we're going to feel it till 2024. So, Mr. Kennedy, we wish you all the best in your run and we'll keep you all posted on what's going on in America and what's going on in the money world. I'm Tisha Powell. Thanks so much for watching. Folks, be sure to subscribe. Hit that free subscribe button. That way you'll get the latest breaking business news from the New York, USA.